In this recording, I'm going to show you how to use the Facebook business page. So I've now logged into my personal Facebook page and you would do the same as a starting point. The next step is to go to the business page that you want to administer. You can search for it on Facebook here, type in the name of it, go straight to the URL if you have it, or in my case, I've got a shortcut right here and I'm going to go to the one I want to work with. Now, as soon as I go to it, there is a change that happens in Facebook. Now, although I'm still logged in as my personal user, uh, I can now interact on behalf of this business page. So anything I now write here will be written as being written by this customer. So I can engage with the existing posts that are here. So to scroll down, see what people are saying. Maybe there's some comments and I can leave a comment as well. I can reply to it here. And as I reply, you'll see my reply is coming from Envirobike box. I can like, I can engage with it, etc. I can also hide posts, which can be useful. So uh, you'll, you'll find that it is good for you to be able to go in and interact in this way. You'll get some stats as well. Uh, now, let's talk about creating a post. So click here to create a post. And in its most simplest form, you would simply type in something, you would add an image to it, and then you click post. And straight away, it goes on the Facebook page and can be seen by anyone, especially those who are liking your page. But let's go a bit more advanced. Let's say we want to schedule a post. So uh, we've got a link here to the Meta Business Suite. Having clicked on it, it takes us straight to what's called the planner. So they've got different parts of the Meta Business Suite. Uh, the inbox where you can engage with people who have sent in a message to your page, notifications about important updates, your existing posts and stories and what's happening there, and a planner. So uh, let's create a draft post. Now Facebook is assuming that you might have integrated with Instagram, in which case the text you type here will appear on both Facebook and Instagram. But if you don't have Instagram, then it doesn't appear there. So you, you enter your text, um, view our special offer. Uh, and uh, you can add a photo to it, perhaps. And uh, you might want to add a link. And um, that is probably the simplest way of doing it. Now you can get a bit more advanced by uh, going over here to the, the Facebook post, uh, remove the image, so I'll delete it, and click call to action, which means that uh, we can have a picture with a Facebook button on it. So I'm going to change this image to the one we're using and I will show you what happens next. View our special offer. It's still got our link there, google.com. It's got our picture. And if we scroll down, it's got uh, our send a message button. So then people can click on that and directly send a message to your business profile. Now, when you're done, you can schedule the post. They will suggest some times for you that can be peak times to address your audience or you can select the time that you want yourself. So save it and we schedule the post. And now it should appear on our list of scheduled posts for the week ahead. So that's how you schedule posts and uh, how you look after uh, a business page. So here's a scheduled post. We can click on it and we can publish it now or we can delete the post, which is what I'm going to do right now. So I hope this helps and gives you an introduction to managing posts on Facebook. 
and in this business suite you can click into posts and stories and you can see your existing posts and how many people have been have viewed it and commented and so on so uh, i hope this is useful for you and uh, let us know if you have any questions